Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video, as you've probably already read in the title or the thumbnail, it is all about basics from Zara. So I've got here sort of some of my key favorite basics that I use every day in my wardrobe. They're great for layering underneath jackets and skirts and in winter, summer. So sort of taking you through some key basics that I think you need in your wardrobe. You don't need them all, but just to give you some ideas on how to build your basics collection. And I've collected these pieces, not just in one go, definitely not over a sort of months. And some of them I got last year, but hopefully some of them are still in stock at Zara and I'll try and link everything down below. But if not, if you can't get this exact piece, you'll get the idea. Sort of some of the key basics you can find from a lot of different stores. I really do love Zara for key basics. I think the price point's great. I think the quality is really good. And yeah, I love some of the fabrics that they use and I find the sizing really good for my sort of body and my height and body shape. So I'll show you through some of them today and also show you how I sort of style them just in a really basic way. So as I said, some of these I've collected sort of over time, but there is a few here that I picked up last week or the week before and I haven't actually tried them on yet. So I sort of thought I'll speak you through them and then I'll try them on in the cutaway so you can see how the sizing works and everything like that. So we'll jump right into today's video. The first piece is these really oversized boyfriend tee sort of style basic tees. And I think basic t-shirts speak for themselves. I think everyone needs them in their wardrobe. You can wear them so many ways. I'm definitely sort of someone that always goes for a basic and I think I center my outfits around basics. So I sort of pick out the key piece, whether it's your jeans, so like your denim, your bottoms, whether it's pants, denim, a skirt, something like that. And then whether I'm gonna wear a blazer or a knit or a trench coat or a winter coat or something like that. And then I sort of pair it back with basics. So then I sort of think, am I gonna go for a t-shirt, a bodysuit? For example, bodysuits sort of really slimming on the body or do I want something baggy and oversized like this? So for an oversized t-shirt, I think these look great and I can't wait to try them on. So these two I actually haven't tried on yet. I got it in the black and the white, which I'll show you in a minute. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the sizing. I think sometimes the Zara sizing, it is really great. And if you can't try it on in store, it can be a little bit tricky and hard to sort of navigate on the website. So I did go for a small in these, which I'm really glad I didn't go any bigger because look how big that is. Definitely looks like something I've grabbed out of my boyfriend's wardrobe. But yeah, really great. They're really light as well, which I think is going to be really nice. They're not like a thick, stiff cotton sort of fabric at all. So they'll go really nice sort of tucked into denim, a skirt, something like that. Really great also because they're so long and baggy. You could even tie them up. So perfect for summer over like little midi skirts or slip skirts, even denim shorts. Tie them up at the front, chuck on a jacket over the top. They'll look really great. So as I said, a black one. It's really, really great because it's darker compared to the white. So I think they'll look great with blue denim, black denim, any color denim, throw them on under a blazer, trench coat, but even the black ones, I always sort of tend to wear my black basics just for around the house as well and exercising. So going out for a walk or something like that. So they're really comfy, perfect for loungewear with your trackies at the moment because we're all home in isolation. So I think they're great to have in your wardrobe. This one as well, because I've got I've got the tags on some of them, so I can tell you the price. This is $23.95, so really great for basics. As I said before, Zara Basics I find really, really great and affordable. So yeah, I'll try this one on and hopefully you can see it better in the cutaways. So next up, we've got probably one of the key basics that everyone already has in their wardrobe, but sometimes you just do need a little refresh. That's a white one because I tend to think that white does sort of fade or sometimes they can go a bit funny. So I always sort of refresh my whites and again, same one as the black one I just showed you, $23.95. And oh, I forgot to tell you the size in that one too. I went for a size small. I'm not sure if I already told you that or not, but yeah, definitely really oversized. So if you want it super oversized, you could go up a size. You could even go down if you didn't want it this big. But yeah, really great um, and comfy, cozy, really sort of loungy. But again, a white, ugh, I just got lipstick all over that. A white t-shirt is definitely probably one of my favorite go-to outfits. My Definitely my go-to outfit. If I could only wear one outfit for the rest of my life, I think it would be blue denim, a classic white tee. So just a plain, really great basic like this one and a black blazer. And then probably some black loafers or white sneakers or something like that. But yeah, a white t-shirt can take you from day to night. It can take you from any kind of outfit. Great to take on a holiday because you can also wear them like a million different ways. So yeah, another great piece to have in your wardrobe is the white t-shirt. Next up, we've got another one that I just picked up recently, which still got the tag on. I went for a size small in this one as well. 
and this same price as the ones before, $23.95. Again, really great price point, but it's a much more tight fitting, smaller t-shirt. Slightly different fabric to the ones before. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, really soft, and I absolutely love this color at the moment. Hopefully you can see it there. It's sort of like a nude, really light beige, which I think is so flattering. And sometimes you want the baggy, oversized style, but sometimes you want it a bit more fitted. Maybe you're going for a bit more of an elegant, classy look, whereas the ones before are a bit sort of like casual, oversized, baggy. These ones I think look really, really great under blazers because sometimes under a blazer, if I'm going for a more sophisticated look, I want to put the undergarment more tighter. So that's when I sort of go for bodysuits or slim fitting t-shirts like this one because I really, if I'm going for sophisticated, I rarely do baggy and baggy. So I won't do an oversized blazer with an oversized t-shirt. More than fine to go for that look for sort of just like a casual around the house, going down the street sort of vibe. But for more sophisticated, it's great to have some of these basics in your wardrobe. And I think they can pair really well under knits and stuff too, just as another layer if you're getting a bit cold. So perfect to wear to the office and work and stuff like that too. But yeah, really great to have this color in your wardrobe too. I think this color sometimes gets forgotten about. I personally love it. You can see it sort of features a little bit throughout here. But I think if you stick to your three sort of tonal colors, black, white, and this sort of beige, you could add gray into that mix. I sort of go for more warmer tones, but yeah, if you stick to this sort of color palette, I promise you, you'll be able to wear these with everything in your wardrobe. So next up, we've got another one, which is a new sort of style to Zara. You've probably seen it coming through. And um, what size did I go? I went for a size small. And again, the price point on these, I think is so affordable. I might have to go back and get a black one. I only picked up the white. $15.95, which I think is so affordable. So it's sort of this, hopefully you can see it because it is white, it sometimes reflects a bit on the camera, but really sort of low cutting square neckline, which I think is so flattering. It's really on trend right now. And again, it's sort of got a longer style, which I like because I probably usually tuck things in. So I like to have things that are a little bit longer. I know that the crop vibe sort of everywhere at the moment. I don't personally love that look on me. So I do like to go for things a little bit longer that I can tuck in. This will look so great under blazers, just with jeans, um, under some sort of like trousers with a nice pair of heels. Perfect also for summer. I can picture myself wearing this with like denim skirt or denim shorts, even some like paper bag linen sort of trousers or shorts in summer. Perfect for this. And it does come in other colors, which I'll link down below so you can check it out as well. But I also wanted to mention the fabric of this one. If you're familiar or if you've got one of the classic Zara bodysuits, which I'll be featuring coming up soon, they're one of my absolute favorites. You probably have seen them all over Instagram key basic of last year. Anyway, they've brought it back out, but in this style. So this fabric is the exact same as the bodysuits, which I absolutely love. And let me tell you, they wash so well. They're really comfy. And I think they're so flattering because it's not too thin. It's quite thick. And what's great about these as well, you can wear a bra under it, which I usually do, but it's sort of double lined. So I don't know if you can see that there, but it's got double lining, so it makes it extra thick, which is really, really flattering. So next up, we've probably got my absolute favorite basic from Zara ever. So I started off by buying it in the three main colors last year, and then I've just added the brown one this year. So this is the Zara bodysuit, which I'm sure you've already seen everywhere, but yeah, it's an absolute winner for me. Perfect basic to have in your wardrobe. I think they're around $29.95, but I'll add them below. And yeah, really affordable. Same fabric as I was just talking about. And they've got the double lining around the breast area too, which again, so flattering and make you feel really comfortable in them. I often get a lot of questions about these bodysuits if they're really low at the sides. I don't find them like that at all. They do look quite low on the hanger and maybe on the website, but I think they sort of sit... I, you can never really see your bra that much. So I think they sort of sit around the bra line. Perfect to wear under jeans, shorts, skirts, stuff like that. And I think I really love the high neckline. It's a bit more classier. So I think if you want to invest in some great bodysuits, go for these ones. They're so great. As I said, they last so well. I've worn these to death. And yeah, they're pretty much brand new. So, so the black one, I think I absolutely love wearing this with sort of just blue denim and a blazer over the top, maybe a black blazer, or it looks really great with sort of a natural tan colored blazer as well. Also, my favorite thing about bodysuits, as I said before, I love to tuck everything in and sometimes just tops sort of they can creep out and stuff like that. So I love a bodysuit. You can just sort of tuck it under and you also don't get that bulging in between the jeans and the top where you sort of tuck it in. So they look so flattering. They're really, really nice and smooth. But also I do get a lot of questions about the bottom parts if it's sort of short and uncomfortable. But no, the fabric's actually quite stretchy. So unlike other bodysuits where it's sort of 
jams up and it feels a bit uncomfortable. These are really, really comfortable. So that's the black one. I've also got it in these few colors, which I'll show you through the cutaways how I'm wearing them. But yeah, so I've got the tan color, oops, sorry, the tan beigey color, which is such a nice shade of brown. This is the most recent one that I've purchased about a month ago, I'd say. I've already got a bit of wear out of it, but yeah, absolutely great color to have in your wardrobe, especially for sort of autumn, winter. But I think this color is going to be really big for summer as well. So then you've got the nude, which I just think is such a staple as well to have in your wardrobe. As I was saying before, if you're going for more of a sophisticated look, it's great to have some nude basics because I think they're really flattering and really timeless. So this is a great color. It's also not too beigey, but it's not too pink. So I think if you're worried about it washing you out, it definitely won't because it's sort of not too whitewashed and it looks really great with the tan as well. Then last up for the bodysuits, I've got the white as well. And I definitely need to wash it. It's got a tiny bit of makeup on it, but that's because I wear it so much. Pretty much grab this for any outfit. It goes with absolutely everything. And as I said before, probably your two main fake colors would be black and white. But then I do love these two sort of tonal colors for something different. But yeah, if you're wanting to just start off with some key basics, I'd go for the black and white because I think they just go with everything. Jeans and a blazer or trousers and a more suit sort of version. So you could definitely wear them to work because once you've got a blazer on over the top, you can't see this cutaway bit and they look really, really flattering and classy. All right, next up, I've got two more t-shirts. These ones are actually the same, but I picked them up in two colors. So I'll show you this first one. It's this gorgeous taut color. It's sort of this ribbed fabric. So I grabbed these in a size small. I think, let me check. Yep, size small and they're $25.95. So again, a really great easy price point to sort of start your basics collection at. And I think what I loved about these that are different from just your plain basic tees is they've got a high neck and it's sort of like that turtleneck, which I love for winter. And one thing that I love about these two is they've got short sleeves because I really sort of love to layer up under blazers and coats and stuff like that. But sometimes I get sort of flustered and hot and I don't want to always be wearing long sleeves underneath. Because sometimes you go into an office building or inside someone's house or something and it does get warm. So you take your blazer off or your jacket. And yeah, really, really comfortable, really gorgeous color. I think this will look so nice with just like all black outfit, whether it's jeans or leggings or something tucked in with a blazer. And yeah, really, really great color to sort of pair back with everything. As I said before, this sort of tonal color is just that extra color that you might want to add into your basics because it's perfect for all year round. So then we've got the same t-shirt again, but in the black. Black pretty much speaks for itself. It goes back with everything, but yeah, I just really wanted to, I think it does come in other colors, but again, I'll link it all down below and you can check out what color ranges it comes in. But I really love the high turtleneck. It's also really stretchy and comfy, which sometimes those turtlenecks can be quite tight and you feel a bit restricted. You know, when you sort of yeah, you feel like you can't breathe properly, but these are really comfy. They're stretchy. Um, I've actually worn this one last week, I think, in the car. Really, really lovely. I just wore it with some blue jeans and a tan coat over the top, which is really, really nice. Um, but yeah, they look really great tucked in. Again, if you're wanting to tuck it in like I usually do, they're a really great length as well, as I mentioned before. So they sort of just tuck in perfectly. And because the fabrics, it is ribbed, so it's stretchy. Um, and it's not too thick, so you don't get that sort of bulging around the stomach area when you tuck it into jeans and stuff like that. So yeah, perfect to add this one to your collection as well. So there we go guys, just a few basics that I absolutely love from Zara. Probably don't know if there's too many more basics. I think long sleeves and stuff like that, but just when it comes to singlets and bodysuits and t-shirts, these are my absolute favorites, my go-tos in my wardrobe. So if you're looking to sort of start your capsule basics collection, this is a great place to start. Hopefully you got some sort of tips or some ideas from the cutaways on how to style them. But again, you can type in literally on Pinterest, have a flick through Instagram if you're wanting to sort of see how to get ways to wear out of each piece. But again, if you're looking for some basics, check out Zara, some other great places to check out apart from Zara would be H&M, ASOS and I've heard great things about Uniqlo. I still haven't, I'm yet to try Uniqlo but I've heard really great things about their basics as well. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and as I said earlier, you don't need all of this in your wardrobe, definitely not. I've accumulated this over sort of a bit of time but yeah, you can definitely look to this for a place to start. Maybe you just want to start with sort of a bodysuit and a t-shirt or a singlet. You don't have to get them all in every color. You can build that into your wardrobe. So let me know in the comments down below if you did enjoy this video. I really hope you did and I'm sort of wanting to bring sort of more basics and some capsule collection videos to my channel to sort of let you know how you can get more wear out of each piece. I'm absolutely loving sort of the timeless classic vibe. So that really does include wearing the same piece over and over again. And I think that's what I really love about fashion is trying to get as many styles out of each piece in your wardrobe, styling them up different ways, 
whether it's from day to night or casual or to the office or something like that. I love seeing how I can get ways out of each piece. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel down below because that really means a lot. And yeah, I'm really excited to bring you so many more videos. So let me know if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.